and today me and my mom are going to be teaching you how to handle your cats for their nail clippers. Disclaimer! Disclaimer! Okay, so any cat handling done in this video, if you are trying to follow along with us and taking our guidelines and trying to do what we do, you're we, doing it at your own risk. You're doing it at your own risk. We are not held responsible. We're not going to be held responsible for any furniture, cats, humans, humans anybody anything harmed, harmed, hurt, endangered. In the process of you trying anything. Which, if you follow us correctly, none of that should happen. And you use common sense, but, and you know if you're com right. uncomfortable or your cat's uncomfortable, then don't. Okay, do so it. I'm going to be teaching you how to hold a very cooperative cat. Um, so to begin, you're going to want to turn them on their backs. Now, really I'm right-handed, but that's okay. We're gonna hold them so we wrap our arm around them and just on their shoulder blade, we're gonna put pressure on them so they're against us. And a common mistake lots of people make is they let, ow, <laughs> is they let their, this, front leg here be behind, but their whole elbow needs to be, he's stretching. Oh, 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 you're supposed to be Mr. Noodle, Noodle. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that their elbow is in front of your chest, not behind here, because then they can just turn themselves around like you just did and slip right out. <coughs> So while giving them pressure, you have freedom for back legs, front legs. All you need to do to the little noodle. So he's on your left side if you're right-handed, and he would be on your right side if, if you're, you're left-handed. Left okay. So if you don't have this cooperative of cat, um, we're going to be showing you how to bean wrap your cat. This is a little bit of a comfortable yet controlling way to hold your cat while you're doing their nails. All right, everybody, so the first step to making a cat Rito is you are going to be um, laying out, either on your floor, wherever you have space, a bath towel down. You're going to fold it down. Like so. One more time. <clears throat> And one more time. Okay, so your towel should look like this so far. And then you're gonna fold that excess piece over on top of your already folded towel. Then you're gonna get your cat. Okay, so now I'm going to be bean wrapping a very easy to handle noodley cat. Um, so my mom, after this video is going to be doing a more of a not as cooperative cat, a little more sassy than the little noodle here. Okay, so you're gonna take an L-ish shape with your hand and you're just gonna place it on his chest. Not his throat, but his chest. The reason for this is so that his front legs can't push you away. You have more control of his upper side of the body right now. Now you're gonna take your other hand and you're just gonna grab his two back feet and you're gonna flip them onto the towel sideways. <laughs> like so. And then you're gonna take this side, you're gonna wrap it around him. Like this. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna put this excess towel diagonally. And then not from over here, but from right here, we're gonna take this towel side and we're gonna wrap it. Nope, this needs to be behind his ears and behind the back of the bulb of his head. The bulb. Tight. <laughs> yeah. Around, and we're gonna put it in between his front legs and his no, back legs. No, he can slip right out of that. You don't have it around his head, right? <laughs> Yay, that looks right. And then you're gonna roll him a little bit. And make sure that it's totally around. <laughs> okay, he's totally fine. And <laughs> we have 
access to all four feet. Access to all four feet very easily. And he won't move a budge. I mean, he wouldn't move anyway, but you're up a weedle now. So let's begin. Okay, so in order to get the kitty um, wrapped, you're going to take your one hand, and this is not choking her. You're just putting your hand in this shape right on her chest. You're not choking her neck. You're putting it on her chest. That will prevent her feet. She can't get her feet underneath your hand to push your hand away. Your other hand is going to be around her back, holding her back feet, okay? And then you're going to lay her body down sideways, okay? You're going to lay her body down sideways with enough room with the towel to come around her head. Okay, she's not suffocating. I'm just putting the towel tight enough around her head and tight enough here, see right here, that she cannot get these little monstrous feet underneath there to pop out. Everything's about their feet, they're so good. My weight right now, when I laid her down, is my weight of my arm is pressing down gently that if she tries to squirm out of the back, she can't do that because my weight is pushing her down. If you give her a little leniency like this, she can then pop herself up. So as long as, not hard, but just enough weight that she can't get out of that. And then I keep my feet here. So if she wants to kick or something, she can only push against my foot. So once this is here like this, you'll put it on a diagonal this way you're gonna bring the rest of the towel around and you're gonna bring it right between her front feet and her back feet. And you're gonna roll a little bit so that it gets under. You can pick her up or you can roll her over, whichever. And you're gonna make that tight and just wrap that around, okay? So, now, I'm gonna pick her up very easily and show you. You can just hold her in this little wrap. Now, she can breathe perfectly fine. Her feet cannot go up into here. Her feet, bon bottom feet down here, they can't go up into here because everything's snug enough. Hey, say hey. That it's snug enough that you have access to all four of her feet now and she can't get out of this. And she can breathe just fine. And what will happen is even with a kitty like her who's a little on the sassy side, she will completely calm down in just a minute or two because they kind of like being bean wrapped. They like being bean wrapped. I want to be bean wrapped. Somebody bean wrap me. Do you want to be bean wrapped? Why I hope you guys benefited from this video. And the next video that we're going to be posting is going to be about how to clip your cat's nails so I'll see you next time. Feel free to like and share this video and we'll see you next video.